What's up, everybody? This is episode four of the Happy Accidents podcast with Thunder Thief. And we're here to talk about the song Alto. So the first inspiration for this song was I was just fiddling around on my bass guitar and basically thinking, how many bass parts could I write to make up a whole song and hope it like could sound good? And so pretty much every part that's like a monophonic sort of harmony in this track was written on the bass and then applied to whatever instrument it applies to. And as I was getting more bass centric, I had started working on this other song called Blurry that had this really cool bass in it. And I sampled that bass riff for the synth bass in the turn of this song and turned it into like this just groovy two note thing that I was really into. And once that bass riff got going and I got a little bit of a beat behind it, I started to think about like some funk guitar that would sound cool on it. And I'm such a sucker for like the old or like the mid 2000s like emo stuff. And like their chord voicings are so sweet, especially Taking Back Sunday. And I was just fiddling around with this particular chord. And then I just thought, okay, what would the other guitar player be doing to that uh, to make it sound like real lush and pretty? So I have that other high chord there. And so after I got that A and B section worked out, um, I called my buddy Jazz over to kind of add his flair to it, see what he wanted to... Uh, lay on top of the track to push it forward. And this song spent a little time just sitting there as that A and the B section um, until my friend April came to Denver and uh, one night we recorded a couple different songs for her and then we had time to just sort of jam on this this idea that i had and at the time that we were recording it i had only the end of the second section where like those where those really ethereal pads come in and i just knew that i wanted like a bunch of empty space for a little bit and then to go into a entirely different dramatic change for the song aka the bridge and as soon as april like started doing these little uh these little uh vocal warm-ups basically and then she was just messing into the mic and singing along to the loop and just vibing with it and she just started doing this like kind of simple And all of a sudden, she was just like, oh, I love that. Let's stack that. I want to do two of those. And just recorded those three parts. And then as those looped, I had this last drum idea. And that was pretty cool to like have this legitimate jam session where she was doing this vocal part and like layering and looping. And then I just started to jam on like a simple kick snare situation. And I really liked how the end came out and the way that it moves. And so that song sat again for a little bit while I like worked on the sound design for a couple other songs and 
then I was messing around with some stuff one night and jazz came over again and he heard what April had done with her vocals. And he was like, Oh shit, I already have such a great idea for that. So as I was working with April's vocals and just trying to see where I wanted them to sit everywhere in the song, I knew that I didn't want a lot. Um, This album has a lot of vocals in it and will most likely be the most vocal heavy album that I release, primarily because I can release and make so much instrumental music and working with vocalists sometimes is uh, just a bottleneck in the process that No, don't talk shit about the vocalist while you're doing this. (laughs) I knew that I wanted their appearance to be special and didn't want to use them too much. And when Jazz came over, he was like, oh my gosh, we got to sample that. And then we made this vocal glitch uh, part that we just jammed on for a while. the last so the last instruments that got added to this song were the two call and response guitar parts at the end of the song This track is one of my favorite efforts in trying to marry like organic and acoustic and electric. And I felt this acoustic guitar riff that was sort of mariachi in a way and also like kind of emo in a way. And then the electric guitar just kind of goes in a whole different sort of mode and almost making like a whole different point. And I really liked the dichotomy of those two, like as April's voice just kind of sails in the middle. So yeah, this track, uh, it's one of my first instrumental tracks in the way that there's really there's no lyrics so i'm working on developing the voice to be more textural and less uh lyrical in a lot of my stuff these days just because there's a lot that i want to say um without words and i really like the balance that this song starts to find so thank you for listening and i hope you enjoy it Here's Alto.